welcome back to 9 p.m probably the last video we'll do on this one because we will be able to finish it so i hope at least we've only three endings left and they're all from gary after all he had 10 endings and katya only had four um so what else could we try out i guess of course we can go to office i have to go to office otherwise we just get the one with steve again something's not right leave and then we will try to fight the zombies probably a bad idea but an ending regardless try to sneak past the zombies and in a moment take the axe all right so you're not just not exactly a fighter you're not a fighter at all everything you know about fighting is from the time bingo wasn't on yet and you watched wrestling to pass the time as soon as you break the glass, a whole horde of zombies starts storming in your direction. You have no chance. The last thing you think about is bingo. That's, you decide, actually a nice thought to go out on. Well, that's something and an ending. So, then let's get going with Katya again and... We haven't got any endings for her, so let's just try to be... Let's just quickly get out of here. And prank you so we get so quickly get out of here. Nice. Okay. What did I click now? Okay, j just got thrown out of the game. No issue, let's save, let's return, and let's play again, and let's jump again. No issue, only a minute in, and already got an ending. Very nice. Now, I think if we go, uh, go take the stairs and then think about our life, I think there was also another option after that, right? So... You think for a moment, all right, enough wallowing in pity. Maybe you should have married. Yes, that one. All right, you have to get out of here somehow. But if you want to sneak past those undead bastards, you're going to need a little preparation. There's now groaning coming from the upper... Christ, you still can't believe what... Uh, no, that's the same thing again. Take the X, put on your fuzzy socks. Okay, yeah, well, let me let me restart. Okay. So... That's all there is to this to taking the stairs. Was there another option for taking the elevator? Let, let's investigate again. I think I might have missed something. Ask him what the hell he's doing here. Wait for him to notice you. You cross your arms and stand and start tapping your foot, but Steve doesn't seem to notice. All right, he never was the sharpest tool in the shed. Or is he ignoring you on purpose? Sure, some boss that guy after leaving you to clean up alone, he should be crying and apologizing, not acting like you've done something wrong somehow. Like you've done wrong somehow. Steve, you say sternly. What the hell is up with you? Are you just being an asshole on purpose or what? No, we already had that. Doesn't seem to appreciate your tone. Yeah, okay, we had that. We have that. We had that. He started with zombie. Run. Run. Uh. Actually, we never tried running. Let's try that. Remember on the zombies films you used to watch sometimes? All right, he was, yeah, no, he was, yeah, he was fast. No, that was not the right choice. Let's just, let's just restart. Let's start again. Okay, those last two endings are apparently a bit tough. I mean, if they weren't, we would have already found them, so I guess it makes sense. So it's, uh, systematically. Let's go to our office again. It's not a raccoon. Ignore it. Investigate. Let's investigate. Yeah, it was Steve. Uh, ah, right, we can try that. We meet Kelly, and the last time I closed the door again, but let's try to talk to her this time. Kelly only makes gurgling sounds and doesn't really seem to understand you. Is she sick or a zombie? The thought seems a little ridiculous, but you have watched zombies films before, when there was no bingo to watch. Honestly, the longer you look at her, the more she reminds you of them. Mindless, drooling zombies. But how can you be sure? You can't be, just close the door. Politely ask her if she's a zombie. Kelly answers your polite question by chomping your arm off. So... Thanks for nothing, Kelly. And another ending! Nice! Only one ending left then. Alright, now... Let's... Save. Save. And now we can go back... To the menu. But now we're gonna start as Katya again. Okay, that was very pointless. Oh no, I'm not. Okay, so I can save. And start. Okay, that's useful. 
probably a glitch, but still useful. Um, so if I close the door again, it's probably... Let's try to invest... I, 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 so yeah. Let's try to demand our money back, I've already tried that. Steve seems a little confused. My money, you tell him again. Come on, you remember the ER visit? You said you'd pay me back. No reaction. Maybe this is excusable. You don't really know how good zombie memories work. Oh, you already have that. Um... You look into his big empty eyes. Listen, buddy, you know how expensive that was you try again. Doesn't seem like Steve particularly cares. He seems to be more interested in... Oh no, he's not trying to eat you, is he? Run, hit him with your mob. Running didn't work, hit him with the mop again. Okay, now, ram it into his mouth. Do a ninja kick flip, that wasn't going to work. You're safe for now. Okay. Yeah, cat, cat, cat here comes. And we have, oh! Tell her where the back exits are, give her your mop as a weapon. Tell her to hide in the bathrooms. Right, we haven't tried, yeah. Last time we told her where the back exits are, um. Uh, this is mean, but well, let's try it. She nods and quickly disappears in the bathroom, locking the door behind her. You're pleased with your quick thinking skills. She'll definitely be safe in there. Now, which way will you go? To the front door, to the back exit? Oh, yeah, that's something different now. Okay. Okay, to the front door, back exit. Um, what did we try last time? I don't remember. I think we tried the back exit, so let's try the front door. Front door's not working, not even with the janitor key. Did I lock it in? Did they lock you in? Why? As you're thinking with the block, you see something moving at the other side of the hallway. Could it be someone else who works here? Maybe they know what's going on? Shout for help, ignore them and try the back exit. Shout for help. Nobody answers your call for help and for a second, you're sure it was a bad idea. How can you know it wasn't a zombie lurking there? You hold your breath as you hear footsteps coming towards you and then... Something rounds the corner, it's... It's a raccoon! A pretty fat raccoon? What the hell is a raccoon doing here? The raccoon stares at you, almost like it knows what's going on. Then it turns on its heels and skitters across the hallway. With no better idea coming to mind, you follow it. It leads you to one of many back exits. The door is slightly ajar, so that probably explains how the raccoon got in the first place. Got in in the first place. Then you see the body lying front of, in front of the exit. The thought of a zombie animal, the thought of zombie animals hadn't occurred before, but it sure does now. You give a wary glance at the raccoon. Hey, you didn't bite that fellow or something, did you? You ask. It lifts its tiny weird raccoon ears as if to say, And what if I did? Not very reassuring. You look at the body, and you are... Hello? They don't react. While you are still staring at the unknown person on the floor, the raccoon climbs over their body and heads toward the exit. It stops halfway to look back at you. Does it want you to follow? Shouldn't we, you know, at least check on the guy, you ask? The raccoon squeaks. Investigate the body first, follow the raccoon. Uh, I followed the raccoon with Katya once. Let's investigate the body this time. Maybe later. Weird raccoon thinks that... Weird raccoon... Weird? Weird raccoon that thinks it's part of Alice in Wonderland. You're far too curious to know what happened to this body first. Hello, can you hear me? You ask them. Still no answer. The raccoon speaks... Squeaks... Impatiently. Shut up, will you? I just want to take a quick... You stop yourself as you realize you're holding a conversation with a raccoon. Suddenly, the person lifts their hat, startling both you and the raccoon. Hey, if you were conscious, you could have at least said something to me, you grumble. You want to scold them more, but then they growl and growl and bite suddenly. Growl and bite, and suddenly these become your last words. Curiosity killed the cat, it seems. And, you... and there we go! The final ending! Nice! Now let's save. Yes, I am sure I want to save. Let's get back in so we can get to the main menu. I can't get to the main menu from where I was now. And yes, we have all the endings, both for Katya and for Gary. And it only took us nine minutes. So that finishes our adventure with 9 p.m. Very original and very fun game. I hope that it will get expanded at some point. Really do hope that, I'm afraid it won't happen, but maybe it does. So, if you enjoyed this as well, consider leaving a like, share it with all the zombies you know, 
And if you want to be the first to know when I try to escape a laboratory again, you should subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.